Oh, on YouTube, it's your boy TC back with another video. And today's video is in regards to team news. And the player in particular we're going to be talking about today is Santi Cazola. So, as we know, Santi Cazola was injured pretty much most of the season last season. He last played for the club in October 2016. That's pretty much incredible, to be honest. Um, these injury problems at Arsenal have been persistent and continuous over the years. I can give multiple examples. So we had Diaby, who never, ever came back. Uh, we had Rosicki at one point, who suffered from terrible, terrible injuries. Uh, Ramsey had a few niggles here and there, obviously stemmed from the leg break back at Stoke. So basically, a report came out today suggesting that Santa Cazola will not be playing for the rest of the season. So this is the season we haven't even started. The report states that the Gunners playmaker was so missed uh, in midfield during the bulk of last season. Cazola hasn't featured for Arsenal since limping off in the 6-0 win over Ludogorets uh, last October. An Achilles problem has led to multiple operations and the midfielders continued absence despite initial optimism he would return swiftly. Arsenal expected the 32-year-old to be back fit three weeks after the Champions League tie. But reports coming out today suggest that the 32-year-old now faces the prospect of being sidelined for almost two full seasons in succession. That's, to be honest, that's pretty much unheard of. Obviously, there have been players that have been injured for a whole season. Two seasons, maybe, or well, a season and a half, maybe, I should say, uh, but not two whole seasons. This is incredible. His age as well is not on his side, so time is obviously not on his side. So the news will come as a big blow for Gunner supporters like ourselves, with the skillful Spaniard having become a fan favourite during his five years he spent at the Emirates. Cazola played a pivotal role in the team during his first three seasons in North London, but long-term injuries have played him since 2015. So, as I said, these injury problems at Arsenal are persistent. I don't know why they were reports, or not even reports, actually. Um, it, Arsenal changed the training surface uh, at the Colney training ground uh, to a surface that's actually manufactured by a French firm. So, it's like a 3D synthetic uh, surface which is meant to reduce the uh, the impact on the bones and the body of football players, but it doesn't seem as if it's actually helped. So what do you guys think? Do you think Santi Cazola will be missed uh, in the season coming? Bearing in mind that his passing success rate is incredible. I think it's about 89% all the way through to 90, 92% or so for the last three seasons he actually played. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is he going to be missed? Uh, I'm also running a competition, guys, to win a free ticket to the Emirates Cup this year on a Saturday the 29th of July. So if you want to enter the competition, please click the link below in the description. Also, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button on this video as well, guys. So once again, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk and I'm out.